is CBS 2 News. Hello, I'm Suzanne Lemonnier with CBS 2 Chicago. It's a story we just cannot get enough of. 13 people may owe their lives to a five-year-old boy from Chicago's Back of the Yards neighborhood. They were asleep when their house caught fire yesterday. That's when Jaden Espinosa woke everyone up. Now hear him and the people he rescued tell their story. I woke up my little nephew, uh, Jaden Espinosa. He, um, he woke us up. The first thing he said, wake up, wake up, everybody wake up. The house is on fire, the house is on fire. He said, hurry up, get up, get up, get up. No smoke alarms went off, nothing. If he didn't wake us up within those two minutes, we would have been out of there. And it was five kids from one to nine years old. Yeah, my nephew, oh, he, he's a hero. He, you want to say something? I was actually telling the truth. I saved him because he's my, he, he's, he's my own, he's my owning. I like him. Aww. Jaden speaking about his much-loved uncle right there. Meanwhile, their house on Marshall Avenue is a total loss. The family, including Jaden's great-grandmother, are sleeping in a hotel for now. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but the uncle believes some trash bags and wood caught fire behind the house. The spotlight is on Mexican culture at the 47th annual Fiesta del Sol in Pilsen. <laughs> A mile-long stretch of Cermak Road is filled with games, entertainment, and activities. This outdoor family festival includes Latin American food, art, and music. About one million people are expected to turn out this weekend. Fiesta del Sol continues today from 11 this morning until 10 tonight. Admission is free. You can meet your new best friend today in Roscoe Village and skip the shelter. Paws is hosting the 8th annual Angels with Tails event, bringing out adoptable animals to stores and sidewalks in Roscoe Village. Six other shelters are taking part. Animals will be out starting at noon until 4 this afternoon. Now let's turn to meteorologist Ed Curran for your forecast. And we have a decent day ahead of us. It'll be warmer. It'll be more humid than it's been around here as we climb into the 90s. And it'll feel even a little bit warmer because of the humidity. As we go through the day, we'll have mostly sunny skies. And then as we go through the nighttime hours, we start to increase the chance to see rain around here as we head into tomorrow morning. Monday brings some showers and storms as a cold front comes into Chicago. And that gives us cooler temperatures on the other side. So for for your Sunday, 91 degrees officially at O'Hare, I think is what we're going to see with mostly sunny skies and kind of breezy, about 15 to 20 or so miles per hour. The winds from the southwest, 72 degrees for an overnight low. And then the high on Monday with thunderstorms, 84 degrees. Then the cooler air settles in and the high Tuesday is 82 and Wednesday will struggle to even reach 80 degrees. Suzanne. Thanks, Ed. For the latest headlines, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Suzanne Lemonio. Have a great day.